Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss Spearsman two factor theory. Spearsman's two factor theory. British psychologist Charles Spearsman published his two factor theory of intelligence in 1904 in an article titled General Intelligence Objectively Determined and Measured in the American Journal of Psychology. His theory of intelligence is entirely mathematical. According to Spearman, any intellectual task required to require two types of mental abilities. One is general mental abilities or general factor or small g we are uh, describing it as a and the other is the specific mental ability, the specific factor or S factor. Now we will be knowing that what is the general mental ability. The mental ability that are required for all kinds of intellectual work is called the general mental ability. Now we will discuss uh, the characteristics of the general mental ability. General mental ability is innate. That is the child gets his ability at the birth uh, this ability develops up to a certain age. It is universal and requires more or less general mental ability in all kinds of the intellectual work. Third point is difference, differences in general mental abilities can be observed from the person to person. According to psychologists, General mental ability is actually a sum of several basic abilities. For example, linguistic ability, numerical ability, imagination ability, and reasoning ability, and judgmental ability, etc. General mental abilities differ in quantity from person to person. The higher the amount of it in a person, the more likely he is to succeed in his work. In general mental ability, it is not subject to is subject to exercise. This ability cannot be improved by practice. This is inborn quality. That's why you, you, you cannot improve it by practice. Now we'll be knowing the specific mental abilities. The mental abilities that require the specific task is called the specific mental ability. The characteristics of the specific mental abilities Each job is required different mental abilities of individual Like uh, if you want to do some uh, painting, music, all those things We need different type of mental abilities to perform that job For those type of job other than your inter innate or inside general mental ability, we need some, some specific mental ability to perform some task. A person can have more than one specific mental abilities. Like uh, one person can have music ability, artistic ability, poetry ability, or uh, very good speaker, speaking abilities. This ability can be uh, person to person other than and this can be practiced and we can develop this type of abilities. Specific mental ability add, act as an ad, adjunct to, to the general mental abilities. And this ability does not work alone. We need some uh, our inside some talent or general mental ability. Along with that we can perform some specific mental ability we can, which we can perform some specific type of work. What type of uh, uh, ability is required for painting? That is some kind of different abilities required for uh, pay, um, our uh, singing. Those abilities are different. With the that those type of ability will be adjunct to our general mental ability and mental abilities, and we can perform the task. The fourth point is the specific mental abilities helps the individual to succeed in the workplace. Fifth, the specific mental abilities individual acquire this ability through learning. By learning, there some person can 
acquire this type of mental abilities. The specific mental abilities are variable. Intelligence is a perceptual ability or capacity or insight. Now we'll discuss the Spearsman two-factor theory. Spearman conduct an experiment on a group of students. He let them complete an intellectual task. He observed that the every individual activity, there are two mental ability. One is general mental ability, G, and the other is a specific mental ability. By combining these two mental abilities, we can we complete any intellectual work. That is Spearsman two-factor theory state that the two mental abilities are needed to complete any intellectual task. Since the two mental abilities are discussed here, it is called the Spearsman's two-factor theory. As this picture depicted, this S1, S2, S3, S4, these are the uh, four different type of uh, specific mental abilities. When it will be combining with our general mental abilities, we can do a uh, specific task, we can intellectual task, we can perform. Every person is born with the general mental abilities and the specific mental abilities are used to perform any particular task. Whenever a person performs a mental task, he takes some mental power to power from the store of the G or general mental abilities and they take some mental power from the store of S or the specific mental ability. These two powers are combined to complete the intellectual job. How it is mathematical formula it is depicting here P equal to P nothing but the performance equal to G plus S. Now the general factor and specific factor. When these two factors are combining we can perform any type of intellectual activity. This is today's our discussion. Thank you for watching.